what ho everybody ian here um just doing a bit of tidying up after the week's activities here and um just wanted to share with you what has been happening uh if you've been following on instagram and facebook you will know that uh i've been dabbling in n scale in two millimeter scale so I wanted to share with you what I've done, give you some thoughts on that and uh, share with you a special video at the end as well. So what I started with was this N-Gage kit of a B6 turnout from Fine Tracks. So, wow, what can I say? What can I say about this other than, wow, I was really, really impressed with this. So... Uh, you get what you get, you get a 3D printed base and you get some sections of rail. Doesn't sound much, but you don't need much. Uh, what, what you do is you uh, slide the rail onto the uh, sleeper base and you get a turnout. And yeah, it really is that simple. You have... In the in in the, in the in the kit, you have the sleeper base, you have a tie bar, and you have stock rails, and you have some rail, and you have a, some other section of rail to make your wing rails and check rails. You have two rails that are milled for your V, and you have two rails that are milled for your, for your blades. So, I mean, basically, you just slide everything together, and it all goes together perfectly. You the two sections of rail to make the crossing V. You slide them into place, they mate perfectly, you don't have to solder or glue anything. Your stock rails and your wing rails, your check rails, all slide into place perfectly. The blades just slide into place perfectly. There is a tiny little bit of soldering to do when you have to solder the uh, the the tie bar to the blades, but that you're, tar you're soldering to uh, you're soldering to a, the blades to a a pin, which is part of the uh, mechanism. Uh, but if I can do it, you can do it. It's a very it's. I was very scared about doing that. I thought I would melt stuff, but I didn't. I, I learnt some new soldering techniques watching some videos from the 2mm Scale Association and found out that if I used these new techniques, then I could do it. So, very happy with this. Uh, so, my confidence was really bolstered and that's when I went on to the 2mm uh, Scale Association starter kit. What you get there is you get a... Uh, you get a section of track which you have to assemble. You get um, some sleeper bases and some Code 40 rail. And much like you did with the uh, point, you just slide the rail into the chairs of the uh, sleeper base. And there you go. Bob's your uncle. You have a five inches of track. 9.42 millimeter gauge. Next is the... Um, wagon kit it's a 16 ton british rail 16 ton mineral wagon what you get you get a you get a um injection molded plastic body i don't know why on earth i struggled with that there for um, at that time i certainly the injection molded body and the etched nickel silver chassis i was really quite worried about making the chassis because well i've never never done anything like that before and like I say my soldering abilities are next to nothing but I found my um, curiosity overwhelming uh, overriding my, my fears because everything was very nicely explained in the uh, videos on the two millimeter scale association website so I thought well I can do this so I put the video on on my iPad I sat here I would watch a piece of video and then I would copy what I saw on the video. And for the most part, everything went really well. I did unfortunately lose 
one of the axle box covers, which was, uh, the axle box cover is a tiny, tiny, tiny little, uh, it's a four, about one and a half millimeters by three millimeter etch. And it's three pieces and you fold it up and you solder it all together. In order to put it, fold it all together and line it up, you have to hold it in a pair of tweezers and fiddle with it and press it. And of course, one of those just like sprang out and I lost it in the carpet for 20 or 30 minutes. And then I found it again and managed to solder it up this time and I was just about to put it in place on the on the wagon and it sprang out of the tweezers again and it's down there somewhere can't tell you where I, it's it's gone ah so that was a disappointment and uh, I have also managed to lose one of the turned brass buffers but I'm hopeful of finding that. It's over there somewhere. But uh, yeah, so I've lost an axle box cover. I've lost a buffer beam. And uh, also there's underneath here, you can see there's a uh, mounting plate for your couplers, which you have to fold up and on the out, out, of the, out of the edge. And well, uh, I actually did snap that off. I was working to booking it all a bit too hard to uh, bend bend one of the plates up and uh, that that snapped that fractured at the etch, etch line but I managed to foot I managed to solder that back in place so I was really pleased with myself for doing that but uh, but there you go I mean I followed the instructions as much as I could I struggled with bits and I found other bits easier than I thought I would so what I have here is a chassis that actually actually rolls it does actually roll which i was i mean that's an achievement because if you recall a video from a couple of months ago when i was making that parkside pico north british box van that i had the darnest trouble getting that to run square and level and smoothly but this this tiny little nickel silver edge nickel silver chassis runs so really pleased with that so uh, overall this was a fun experience that i enjoyed a lot uh, i never thought i would be building something in two millimeter scale so where do i go from here ah i think i would like to build a layout a micro layout a small layout in two millimeter scale probably even two millimeter fine scale just to just to keep these techniques and skills that I'm learning in order because uh, that's what the hobby is about. It's about learning new skills and techniques and developing them and improving improving your modeling. So uh, this end scale is really, the two millimeter scale has really brought my enthusiasm back. I'd really like to capitalize on the momentum that I'm building. So we will go away and think about that and uh, report back. But what I'm going to leave you with now is a piece of film that I shot last week up in the wilds of Minnesota. Um, it's the uh, Canadian Pacific Kansas City Southern Golden Spike, final spike train that uh, ran. It ran from Winnipeg to Mexico back in June or was it the end of May beginning of June and last week it was on its return journey from it was running up into Canada so uh, the weather was much better than the downward trip so I went out and stood line side and got some shot some video of it so uh, take a look at that I hope you enjoy it and we will see you all soon take care happy modeling